aid in these very difficult times. Uh, together with you know, our friends such as Prime Minister Abe, um, this has been so important um, in our region and to provide that steadying and stabilising and, and wise influence uh, during what is a, an incredibly difficult time for all of our countries and, uh, and we wrestle with those challenges each and every day. Can I also convey our deepest condolences to all of those impacted uh, by uh, Tropical Cyclone Ampol. Um, this is uh, together with all of the other difficult issues that uh, are being faced. Uh, our condolences are with you for that terrible event and of course the industrial accident at Vizag. Um, these are issues that uh, are unrelated obviously to the COVID-19 challenges but they still come and they still test us and once again you've proved more than the measure of those tests. Our relationship is exactly as you've said. It is a very, very comfortable relationship, it is a very natural relationship, so much in common, so much shared if not in language always, certainly in the things that matter and test us and once again you've proved more than the measure of those tests. Our relationship is exactly as you've said. It is a very, very comfortable relationship. It is a very natural relationship, so much in common, so much shared, if not in language always, certainly in the things that matter and the values that we hold. And we both seek to champion those values together in our region and, to get, and independently as, as, as very proud sovereign nations and very vibrant liberal democracies as well. And I think we hold that flag up very proudly, each of us. But when those flags come together in the way they have now um, and have for some time, uh, we're only full of ambition, as you said, for what can be achieved in our relationship and between us, I have no doubt, and with uh, our excellent foreign ministers and trade ministers and others, defence ministers and, and others, we can achieve a lot in the years to come. In the Indo-Pacific, we are committed to an open, inclusive, um, prosperous Indo-Pacific, and India's role in that uh, region, our region, um, will be critical in the years ahead. The cultural, links, the cultural links that we enjoy between our countries are well known. And what, though I am even more excited about, Your Excellency, is that it's time for our relationship to go broader and to go deeper. And the things we are speaking of today, I, I greatly regret that we could not do them in person on not just one but two occasions. And I thank you very much uh, for the invitation uh, to join, for Jenny and I in the, to join you uh, in the future. I know she's very much looking forward to it. And uh, so we thank you. She'll be pleased when I tell her tonight, when I get on the phone, that uh, uh, Narendra has invited us again. And she'll be very <laughs> pleased about that. So we'll look forward to doing that when we can all travel. But I, I suspect there'll be perhaps some other opportunities where we'll meet. I understand perhaps at the G7 with that going ahead later in the year and, and other events as we draw to the close of the year. Today, science and technology, a new special grant round between our two countries for a program that is really joining our scientists together. This is exciting. A joint declaration on a shared vision for maritime cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, we, we share an ocean and we share responsibilities for that ocean as well. Its health, its well-being, its security and the, the relationship we're forming around those issues on, in our maritime domain I think is the platform for so many other things between our countries. Uh, the mutual logistic support arrangement and a defence science and technology implementing arrangement. These are, these are the, the substantial things that good friends um, develop together that provide the opportunity for the many other commercial opportunities that come our way. In a time like this, we want to deal, deal very much with friends and, and trusted partners. And uh, this is a partnership uh, which has stood the test time and again and is, is during the course of this uh, current crisis. Um, we share a vision for open, free, rules-based um, multilateral systems in our, in our region. Uh, whether that's in the health area or it's in trade or in other places, we engage in those as um, confident but sovereign nations, uh, advancing, of course, our own interests and mindful of our own domestic challenges. And I think you've navigated that path incredibly well. And we thank you for the way you continue to engage in those fora in such an open and honest and transparent way. Uh, the trade and investment flows between our country are not where you or I would both like them to be, but they are growing. And, uh, and they can grow a lot faster. But I think the comprehensive strategic partnership 
uh, that we are forming today, going to a whole new level of relationship, will continue to build the trust because we want commercial and trading relationships that are built on trust. Um, we already um, see a great movement of peoples in normal times between our countries and I thank for your comments about uh, the hospitality that is extended to Indian students here in Australia and we want to continue to see that happen. And we want to see Australian students studying in India as well as we support and would like to support through the programs that, that we run here from Australia. Um, I also want to commend India on its leadership in these multilateral forums, particularly on taking uh, the chair of the Wealth Health Organisation's executive board. This is a very important time to be uh, chairing that executive board and I have no doubt um, that the way that that will be led under India's leadership will be critical um, to how we deal with the many difficult problems that we are encountering globally, particularly in the health area. Uh, so as we announce agreements also in cyber and science and infrastructure, uh, trade and education, um, these, this is a, a grand portfolio of, of, of specific and very practical arrangements that give form and substance to the comprehensive strategic partnership. Um, you and I have both, you for much longer, have been dealing in these international issues for a long time and there, there are many relationships and partnerships, but we know they don't come to anything if we don't put in the, the practical building blocks and, and, and agreements that sit under the relationship that actually contribute to the prosperity and the progress of the relationship between our two countries. So today is a very good opportunity to extend that. Um, it will be extended also in the agreement that we have to commit to foreign and defence ministers meeting in a regular two time, two plus two format. I think that's a, a great step forward. Um, the relationship also we have with partners in the region, uh, particularly Japan, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, the United States, others is very important and we are both enthusiastically pursuing those bilateral relationships but in increasingly in multilateral fora, both informally and formally, um, that is providing, I think, a basis of stability in our region which we, which we can all share in and we can drive the prosperity from. So I look forward uh, to this first Australia-India Leaders Virtual Summit today. I wish I could be there for uh, what has become the famous Modi hug and uh, while not uh, and be able to share my samosas which I thank you for uh, we had a bit of fun with that on the weekend so next time uh, it'll have to be the Gujarati Kishti which I know is a, a keen favourite of yours and you've mentioned to me before so I'll try that out in the kitchen next time we before next time we meet in person thank you media <laughs> Excellency, I'm very happy to be here and I'm very happy to be here and I'm very happy to be here. Excellency, I'm very pleased. And if you have yours... And when you talk about the Khichdi, the Gujarat people will be very proud of you. And in Australia, there are many Gujarati people in Australia. It will be very happy for them. But it's the fun that the Khichdi is in our country, in every country of every country, in every country of every country, in a common variety, the name is different. लेकिन बहुत पॉपुलर है लेकिन मुझे खुशी होगी आपके साथ इसको एंजॉय करने का एक्सलेंसी आपके उत्साह और विश्वास से भरे शब्दों के लिए मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूं एक्सलेंसी विश्व इस समय एक अभूतपूर्व संकट से गुजर रहा है कोविड 19 ने हमारे हेल्थ सिस्टम्स इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर्स और सोसाइटी सबके लिए चुनौतियां पेश